Hello everybody and welcome to another Obsidian video. Uh, I've shared quite a few videos so far about the different systems that I have in Obsidian. And in this video, I'm going to show you my people note system and template. So this allows you to use Obsidian as a personal CRM. And CRM stands for Customer Relationship Manager. It's usually used for companies and businesses or salespeople, um, but you can use it just to keep yourself organized in Obsidian. Uh, this video is just one piece of a much bigger Obsidian picture. Uh, I also have the following systems all set up and going, um, and I'm gonna link to any of those videos that I have in the description. So I have daily notes, I have meeting notes, I have people notes, which is this video here. I have book notes and I have physical objects. Those are at least what I have planned in turning into content. Um, this video documents the entire process of setting up a whole people note system from an empty vault. So I'm going to be showing you this right here is my vault. I have an empty vault that I'm going to be showing you how to do this in. The only changes that I've made to this empty vault is that I have installed a theme that I really like. It is the LYT mode by Nick Milo. So definitely a really cool theme. I definitely recommend checking it out if you like it. Um, and then I've also already pre-created a bunch of directories and folders in the style that I like. Uh, I include all of that information on my blog, again, description in, or link in the description, um, but I'm not gonna cover any of that in this video. Um, additionally, I do have a few files from previous tutorials, but we're really not gonna be touching them in this tutorial, so that doesn't actually make too much of a difference. So I published my blog post about my people note system about two years ago now. Uh, and then I recently, within the past week or so, went back to that old post, refreshed it to represent kind of how I'm using the system today. Uh, and then I'm also now recording this video based on that system. Uh, so this is a capture of what I am using today and have been for a little over two years. Um, just because something works for me does not mean that something is gonna work for you just right off the bat. So feel free to take what I'm doing here and then change it, evolve it, steal anything that you like, add anything else that you want to it and make the system your own. Um, if you check out my channel, you'll notice that I just started uploading in earnest, maybe uh, about two or three videos ago, after maybe like five or six years of just not uploading anything. So. I'm considering continuing to make content. Um, but if you like this, if you want to see me create more, let me know in some way. I mean, liking, subscribing, commenting. Uh, I have a newsletter, subscribing to my newsletter. All of those things really will, will help me kind of understand that people are liking this and that I should spend my time doing more. Uh, okay, with all that said, let's jump into the tutorial. So we're gonna start things off in my people MOC, which is map of contents file. I have a lot of map of contents files whenever I have related notes as something just to tie everything together. Um, we'll see some notes here. I You can put whatever information you want. I just have random stuff. I don't really look at this that frequently. Uh, I have a link to the template right here. You can see all the different people that I have in my system. And then there's a link right here to create a new people note. Uh, and so if you click this, it'll create a new note. You can do like uh, Bobby, I'm gonna do Bobby test two because I already have a Bobby test that I'm gonna show you. Um, so yeah, you have all of these properties that you can add in. You can type notes about the people that you want. When you enter a name right here, it updates right here because this is a bi-directional link to, it links back to the note that this is. Uh, and so that's a handy little trick where if you update this text here, it also updates it here. Uh, and then this right here is, for me at least, the crux of the system. So this is a list of meetings that this person has been in. So let's open, let's go to Bobby test, just the original Bobby test, the OG. Uh, and you can see that I have an example meeting. Uh, and if you click on here, you can see all of the different notes for this meeting that this person is in. And if you have multiple meetings, all you really need to do is include a link to this person in the list of attendees, and it will automatically show up in this section here. So really handy, kind of a centralized place. If you're ever in a meeting with somebody and you've been in a meeting with them before, you can click on their name and kind of see information and see everything, the full context for everything. So. That's the system we're gonna be setting up. Pretty 
powerful and awesome. It, it helps me out a lot. Uh, and let's jump into the whole process of setting it up from an empty vault. All right, here we are in a brand new empty vault. And it looks very similar because as I said, I've already pre-installed a theme. It is LYT Mode by Nick Milo. Really great theme. And then you can see on the side here, I've already installed, or not installed, but created a bunch of directories uh, at the forefront. So those are the only two things that I've done. Um, there are a couple files for different tutorials, but we're not really gonna be touching those today. For all intents and purposes, this is an empty vault. So the very first thing we're going to do is create your people MOC page. So do command N, we can call this. So I usually have a naming process where I like to use an emoji in MOCs just so that they can really uh, easily catch your eye when you're browsing through names of files. So uh, people, yeah. So I'm gonna use this people emoji and then do people MOC as this name. That's it. Uh, and what I've done is I've shared my uh, MOC template file in Safari. So I'm going to open up Safari, people MOC. And again, this is going to be linked in the description. So if you want to just copy and paste it, you can. Usually what I'll do is click on raw and then command A for all, command C for copy. And let's go back to obsidian and then let's command V for paste. And there we go. Now we have our template in there. Um, one of the things I'm going to do, you can see how this says meta bind button. This is gonna be our button that creates a new people note. I usually like to create this from scratch. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm going to delete that and leave that in empty space. Uh, and then down here, you'll see this data view code block. This, once we install the data view plugin, which we're gonna do a little bit later, will automatically populate with all of the people that are in your system, assuming that you put them in the directory extras slash people. And if yours are in a different directory, you can just update this path and then it'll work correctly. So here's our people MOC. Let's move this to the correct location. So command P to open up the command palette and then move, make sure we're going to move file to another folder. And then I look to keep this in MOCs. So all of my map of contents, well, 90% of my map of contents are all in this MOCs folder. People is one of them. So I'm gonna press enter. And now this has moved into MOCs. We can close this, we don't need that open. So there we go, that's it. Now you have your people MOC. So let's actually create the template file that we want to use for creating people notes. So again, command N, and I'm gonna close this so we only have this one thing open. Naming convention for templates, I always use templates here. Template comma people. So this is gonna be how I do my people template. Again, let's go back to a browser and just copy and paste it. So Safari. Great, uh, people template. Let's go to raw, select all, copy this, and then paste it right here. Um, and you can see it includes all of these properties already in here. You can obviously customize these how you like. The way that I would do it, although I'm sure there's a better way, but if you click on this here and go to source mode, this just does it as code. So. This little metadata is in between three dashes to start and stop it. And you can delete, you can add any information that you want here uh, and make this your own. Um, and then let's turn this back into the regular mode. And so this is our template uh, and really basic. And again, this right here is the data view table that's gonna populate with all of the meetings from timestamps meetings you'll see and it says where it contains an outlink so a link back to this particular template uh, so let's move this to our template location so command p move move file to another folder uh, and let's do this in extras templates so this is where i keep all of my templates so enter and then you can see here extras templates we have our people note template next to the other ones that I've created for other tutorials. And that's pretty much it. Let's go back to the MOC file uh, and create the button. Oh, actually, we need to install all of the plugins, otherwise nothing will work. So let's install the plugins next. Open up settings, 
Go to community plugins. I'm already there, but community plugins here. Make sure restricted mode is turned off. Uh, this is what allows you to install community plugins just in general. So the first thing, data view. You can search for data view, but it's such a popular one that it should be at the top here. So you can click on data view, install this, enable this. Wonderful. The other one we're going to need is Templater. So again, you can search for it, but I see it right here just because it is such a popular plugin. So Templater, install, and then enable. And then the very last one that I like to use is called Metabind. So M-E-T-A-B-I-N-D, Metabind. Click on this, install, enable. Great. Those are installed. And then there's one other setup thing that I usually do here. Uh, and you can see if you're back in the system preferences area here, if you go to Templater, the very top, you can designate where your template folder lives. So I'll do extras slash templates, and that's it. Now we're ready to create the button. So I'm gonna do Command O, uh, and I'm gonna open the people MOC, and I want the button to be right here. So let's Command P. This is going to open the palette again. Type in Meta Bind. And then one of theirs is going to be the Button Builder. So click on that. Let's call this New People Note. Uh, and then scroll down here, Command. We're going to do Templater Create Note. And then click Add Action. For the template file, we're going to do the file that we just created, which is template comma people. In terms of folder, I'm going to put these, I have a people folder. So extras slash people is where I keep mine. You can enter wherever you put yours. File name, I'm just going to call this enter name here because when you create a new file with this button, it's automatically going to per put your cursor in the name title location and you can change it to be whatever you want. Um, and then open note. So open this after it runs. So copy this to clipboard. Let's paste it right here. Great. And now we have this button to create a new people note. So I'm going to press that. Enter name, Bobby test. And there we go. Now we have our people notes and it is connected to a people MOC. Ah, the template here. Okay. One last thing, and I'm going to fix this. So if you copy and paste it, it's going to be correct. So I did people MOC, not people MOC. So now it's actually linked to the page. So I'm going to update this on the GitHub GIST. You shouldn't have this issue, but just make sure that this actually links to the page rather than just saying people MOC without the emoji. Hey, I'm just popping back in. Uh, I realized when I was editing this afterwards that there's one more thing you need to do. So in this data view file here, this is going to be need to be updated to include the name of this person. So for this, it's Bobby test. Make sure this is updated for this data view table to work. Um, just because this templater code is running before we've actually written the name here. Uh, and so this is not going to work unless you fix it right here. There you go. And now back to the rest of the video. Uh, and there you go. This is all set up and working now. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, check out some of my other Obsidian content and I'll see you in the next video.